Ali, hasta mañana. Hasta jueves o viernes. No, we, we just bring the truck to Veracruz. Okay, perfect. So I and talked to your brother already. Yes, all good? Yes, all good. The dog stayed with Kara. Okay. We go, we get a rental car, and we come back. All right, thanks a lot. Have a safe travel. Thank, Thank you. you. Good Friday. Good Friday, <laughs> That's what happens. That's what's on the boat. I am Isabella, and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian, and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. This was the honor of the campgrounds, right? Grand thank you so much, making it easy for us a little. Yes. And our friends, Chase and Kara, take care of the dogs for a while because the Vera Cruz Harbor is a little challenging. But uh, together with caravan shippers, we managed to get an early appointment. And uh, yeah, now let's check out. We're gonna have 600 kilometers approximately ahead of us. Then what happens on a shipping? international shipping uh, you will see we have an agent we're gonna meet her uh, we talked already to her on the phone she was from caravan shippers organized so all good so let's see how that works and then we try to get this boat running so nice. stay tuned this is our last drive with frank the tank and we are heading to the mexico for this year minimum <laughs> we will see what we will do later on cordoba cordoba is pretty close on the way to the harbor, we stop in Orizaba, Pueblo Mágico. Yep. Last stop before Veracruz. There we are, arrived at the agent and Zapti is going to come out and we will do the Banyasito, I think, and paperwork. So stay tuned. We just arrived at Rodal Algaciera, <laughs> exacto, in Veracruz. Yeah. And uh, yeah, now this is our agent, Zapti, yes, right? That's it. And <laughs> she's going to lead us through the whole day to bring our truck safe on the boat. Yes. Vean, follow us and do sharing. That's it. Zapti just gave you a few papers. She said that now she needs to take some copies and she will write to us back in one hour or hour and a half, more or less, because she needs to get to the appointment in Banjército. And the first thing is to cancel the tip and we will go there to cancel the tip of the car that we did. You guys saw already a video of that. For 10 years, we had the tip. And then the second step is then that Fabian needs to go without me. He needs to be alone and he needs to drop the car today on the harbor. And then we don't have any more Frank the Tank for minimum month. And the third step then is I think tomorrow after tomorrow, then we will have the customs where they need to come with the dog to smell if you have drugs and they check if you don't have foods and anything. Then yeah, exciting and it's stressy because it's our home is with home. But yeah, it's nice because it's a new shop that this is the company. There it is, Isabelita pregnant. Yay. Walking in Veracruz. Yes. <laughs> and we go for breakfast while the agent is preparing everything, hopefully. Downtown Veracruz, I guess, right?
breakfast is Café del Portal, Portal in Veracruz, which is really yummy. Um, yeah, we decided to ship back to Europe. Um, several reasons. We have uh, Isabella pregnant and COVID is around. And you know, so we thought it's maybe better. And with Caravan Shippers, we have found a company that really takes care of us. Thank you, Klaus. Thank you, Luciano. They kept personal contact with us. They arranged a nice agent, which you're gonna see in this video too, or you saw already. And I'm gonna get a strong breakfast in order to put the truck on the boat. So stay tuned. So now we follow the guy, the agent, to Paniacito, which is that one over there. Yep. Which we had and allowed us 10 years in Mexico. But when you leave Mexico, be sure, it doesn't matter if you leave the land border or shipping, you gotta get rid of it. You have to go to a bañacito. That's what we do now. Yep. There is bañacito. Yes. Okay, you park here. There it is. Now we will cancel the tax import for the truck. So this is why you have an agent, I think. The guy in the blue right here. He's doing all the stuff for us now that we have to... Ah. Okay. What? I can't film the other guy, oh. said. They don't, don't allow us to record it inside there. Then we will do everything. Then when we are out, I get back to you guys. There we go. Now the agent got the ticket that we officially out here with the paper from the Banyacito and now we're gonna go to the harbor and take the truck in a safe area. So I'm on my last ride in Mexico and I'm following Miguel. Miguel is the guy that doesn't speak any English but why should he? I speak a little Spanish so Miguel and me we're gonna we're gonna rock the boat. We have all the papers with me they prepared it. Now we go to the harbor we're gonna drop the car that's the plan the truck and then it's gonna be parked secure in the harbor until Aduana decides, which is the tax authorities, to check my truck. And then I have to be there because it's my truck and I have to personally say, this is me and I bought that here and whatever, you know. So all those things um, are gonna happen. He goes here now. hopefully where we go okay this is where I go by myself I go now I'm confused what Miguel is doing I have no idea where I go but I guess I keep going Okay, Miguel can come in here. So Miguel is waiting and I'm in. So now Miguel and me, we are in here. Hola Miguel. Hola. Thanks for showing me everything. We pick a ticket and we're gonna do all the documents. We're in the harbor, but not there yet. So we will see how that's gonna work. Something happens. We are waiting for something. I have no idea what we're waiting for. Oh, there he is. Nosotros? Yes. Perfecto. Okay, Harbor. Now we got the papers in the system and now I have to go back by myself. I didn't quite understand they have so many mafras here. Like, I will see what's happening. Uh, I went through all the mafras and I'm waiting for Miguel. They made him come too because they see that I'm lost here. I'm in the middle of the harbor without Miguel 
no posible. So seriously, I understand now why you need an agent. It is crazy. So now what? Miguel, you can see, he is here and they don't let him through the last mafra. I hope we can clear it out without walking everything back. It's long. There goes Miguel. He couldn't pass, so he's gonna do another loop. And I just got out. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to, but I'm just waiting here. So I am still standing here. And Miguel, I don't know if you see the white car in the back there. He is there and uh, I'm running low in battery. Also my phone and of course I didn't bring a charger because we emptied the truck already. Um, yeah, long story short, I'm standing here and hopefully somebody's gonna show up because they didn't tell me anything what to do. I'm positive it's gonna work. I see him with his vest at his truck, so I don't know. They didn't let him through and obviously they didn't have authorization for him. Now you see it's a little darker, so that means half hour later. I'm still standing here. No sign of my agent, no sign of nothing. I'm just standing here and still waiting. So let's see what happens. Well, the moon is already there, but that's the only thing. Ayuda is here. Omar and the scooter. So something happened, I will not know and I will not ask. Let's go, let's keep on moving. Miguel, now it's Omar and a scooter. So now we are waiting again for some paperwork and then hopefully we're gonna find a parking. <laughs> <laughs> we are here waiting for this official guy and I just heard from my agent that we're gonna go to a scanner. Uh, it's not the real aduana, but they already do this today. So yeah. It's late, but we still have to wait and wait and wait. We're still here. It's pitch dark at the harbor. I'm hungry. They said, yeah, it's like one hour. And uh, now the car that came with me is not like, here anymore. And now we have a scooter and I have to go home by scooter. Five hours later, they put me through Röntgen, everything x-ray. And now we are good to go for now pretty late this is the secure parking place in Veracruz Harbor so I say now bye to my coche bye bye okay and now finally I'm out they checked I got a permission I have like 20 permissions now in here and I gotta go with a scooter but Miguel is in the scooter and he couldn't come so he's driving around and I have to wait one more time and then we take our scooter ride to be home. Woo! Finally we managed to put the truck in the harbor. Get a cruise. is our room and in this side you guys can see the harbor and today we are in the second day that we needed to go to the harbor to do the second part of the shipping and unfortunately I could not go with the Fabian because I'm pregnant and they don't allow to pregnant woman now in the time of Corona uh, to be there they say that it's dangerous for me Today is the day that they needed to empty the whole car. They needed to take everything. They say that everything that's not fixed on the car needs to go outside. Then he needs to put everything outside and he needed to wait for the uh, customs to come and check everything that we have. They are checking if you have alcohol, if you have food, if you have drugs. They bring also a dog to smell 
your whole car and your, your stuff to see if you have some drugs, bring it to a new continent. And what is pretty crazy for somebody to do something like that. <laughs> Anyways, he's doing all that by himself. I cannot appeal with him, it's pretty sad, but I can enjoy this day here in Veracruz. And look at this harbor, how cool it is. I hope that it's all good with the Fabian, that he's not too stressy. And yeah, then let's check on Fabian and see how he is. Now we are here, but those guys are helping me. Here's my official translator for today. <laughs> Uh, Carolina, right? Yes. Uh, and Miguel, you know him already. And uh, now we're waiting for the customs, and they're gonna probably make me put my stuff out of my truck and go through it. And maybe a dog comes checking for drugs, which is okay. That's what you have to do. And then your truck is free to go anywhere. We are still waiting for the dog to come. It's probably an hour now, everything out in the sun. But it's okay the dog the drug dogs wants to want to sniff and yeah we are here in this beautiful harbor of vera cruz with all the new cars behind me and uh yeah so this chapter finds an end this truck will go on the boat and yeah isabella and me we're gonna enjoy a little more we have a new adventure coming we are pregnant and uh, can't wait to be in this truck wherever it's gonna be sooner or later bye bye coche it was a pleasure being here in mexico with this truck and canada and alaska and the lower 48 it's time to move on see you when we see a truck hopefully at the final destination where we booked you aduana done truck closed off we go. How do you feel that the truck is in the harbor? Good. Good. Done. Done. One step. New adventures. Nice. Shipping from continent to continent. Nice. What's the plan? Today, after the pool, shower, then breakfast, and then take the rental car and go to Oaxaca to see the babies. Company Avis just sent the driver to bring us to the airport to rent our rental car. And from here we will drive to the doggies in Oaxaca. And yeah, we will pass there a few days with them. And then to the airport we will go. So this will be our car in Mexico now. Here we are with Carlos. Thank you, Carlos, for making it happen that we can have a car. You're welcome. And we are still in Veracruz at the airport. And he's the right guy to go. He's the right guy. If you need a car, uh, contact me in Veracruz. He's the guy that gives you the perfect car. Exactly. Thanks, Carlos. You're welcome. You're welcome. And here's our car. Even here, COVID is coming. Whatever that was. Gracias. Carlos, hasta luego. And there it is, clean car. <laughs> He's smelling because he just sprayed something to kill everything that was inside I the car. I hope he doesn't kill us. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yes. boat should be loose I guess or only in front back I guess is still tight 